What's going on everybody? Welcome to another Monte Carlo and Python tutorial video. In this video we're just going to keep expanding on the last thing that we were doing and that's building our Monte Carlo simulator. So scrolling down to the bottom, uh, this is the percent ROI that we really need to beat, but I'm going to go ahead and make this just an even one just because we're probably going to have a lot of things that beat it but aren't necessarily the better than it, right? So if you recall when we did a short sample size of even the, <clears throat> the strategy that returned a 0 0.865 uh, ROI, that was with 1 million samples. But even at 100,000 samples, we were finding vastly changing uh, amounts between, you know, maybe plus 100,000 or minus 100,000, or heck, I think it was even greater than that. It was like plus 800, minus 800,000 or something like that. So anyway, let's go ahead and continue on here. What we want to do is, if this is the case, um, we do care about it. The other thing I want to go ahead and add is um, we also want to know like the wager size percent because I think what we're going to do is we're going to save because we did say I think we yeah right down here. What we're going to do is we're going to every time we find something we're going to save that variable and we're going to make this so we save that variable to like a CSV or something like that so over time we can build on it. Um, <clears throat> and then eventually plot this stuff. So the first thing I want to do is first let's make the variable, we'll call it wager size percent. That's equal to this right here. So I'm just going to cut, paste, and then copy this and paste that there. So now we have that uh, variable. Now if percent ROI is greater than one, so if the return on investment was greater than one, what do we want to do? Well, what we're going to do is all of this, and then we actually want to save this stuff. <clears throat> so the first thing we should do is we need to specify a save file, and that save file we're going to call it, oops, save file equals open, you don't, this file doesn't need to exist either, it'll be created. We're going to call it Monte Carlo. Um, I guess we'll call it liberal for now and the reason why we're going to call it liberal is I think one is a pretty small number and we're only we're using a sample size that's pretty small as well and so eventually maybe we'll raise the percent ROI or we'll raise this number and then we'll call that Monte Carlo conservative and we want to open this anyways with the intention for appending now we want to create the line that we want to save um, this is not the best way to make it make this file but that's okay save line equals we'll start with a new line and then we'll add plus string version of percent ROI uh, right here plus our comma plus the string version of wager size percent plus the string version of wager count with a final plus a comma G. So the reason why I'm doing this is this is just going to be our save line. It's going to start with a new line and once this file starts I'll just delete the first empty line. That way we're not dealing with any empty lines anymore. Uh, string percent ROI. <clears throat> we have to convert this stuff to a string in order to concatenate everything. Otherwise, you can't, you know, you can't concatenate a string in a um, in an int. So that's the idea there. Um, and then at the very end, we're using that G because we're that's going to be the color of the scatter plot that we have. So we're going to be plotting green because this was a um, a positive ROI. So now let me take this. Oops. Oh no. Okay. Let me take this, copy, and we'll just paste this here and make this L if ROI is less than negative one. We lost money. Everything else is the same, but we want to, um, this one will be colored red when we chart it. So uh, now I think we're all set. We just really wanted. Oh, we're not all set. We need. <laughs> we actually need to save this stuff. So save file dot write save line and then save file dot close. And I'm just gonna copy this. Come down here, paste. 
And that should be it. So when we run this, what it should do is begin saving this data to a file for us. So let's go ahead and save and run, see if we have any errors. Wait for it. Looks like it's running. And I'll open up the file here. Bring it over. OK, so here's our file. And again, the only thing that we really need to do is get rid of that empty line. So do that. Do it quickly before you get all screwed up with this if it prints out more. But anyway, as we can see here, let me move this over. <clears throat> this is the file. And again, it's saving first the percentage return on investment, the wager size percent. And then we have, I think, wager count. Yeah. Then you've got wager count. How many wagers did you run through to get there? And then the color of these plots that we want them to be. So. That's basically it. Uh, you can see that we've got a plus and a minus. Obviously, the minus is red and the plus is green. We haven't got anybody else <laughs> since the initial. But uh, anyway, uh, so now what you'd want to do is you kind of want to let this run for a while. I would just let it run at least for like 30 minutes or something, so you can actually have some data. I'm still I can't believe we haven't got like anything else. I'm beginning to wonder if we should like make a counter and make sure this is actually still running or something. Um, there we go, finally. Okay, so anyway, so we got some more here. We updated. So again, minus three, red, and we got some more, um, and so on. So you get the point. So I would say you'd want to at least populate this with 10, 15, 20 rows. So just keep running it until you have about 10, 15, 20 or more rows. The more rows you add, the more data you have, uh, the better this is going to work out for you. So I'm actually going to let this run for quite a while and stack up quite a few rows. So anyways, uh, stay tuned to the next video. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and the subscriptions. And until next time.